Welcome to Keep It Simple Screen Printing. This will be a beginner's guide to understanding squeegee durometers. The most common are going to be 60 soft, 70 medium, 80 hard, and then there will be 70, 90, 70, which is triple durometer. There are other specialty application squeegees, extra hard, which is the 90 durometer used only for UV printing. Uh, here, but we're going to go over the most common ones for textile, which is going to be 60, it's going to be soft, 70, medium, 80, hard, and 70, 90, 70. Uh, here. When we're printing with a squeegee, we're printing, whether we're doing a push stroke or pull stroke, uh, that we're always printing with the inside edge of the squeegee. So we want to use that inside edge. That's why you want to make certain with your squeegee as it ages that you have a nice, sharp, smooth edge to your squeegee. With a soft squeegee, and we're not using a frame because a frame gets in the way, you cannot actually see the squeegee deflection. But as you put pressure, you'll notice that the blade very easily rolls. Now when the blade rolls, you're no longer printing on the sharp edge and it's going to lay down a thicker ink deposit. This would be primarily for printing through coarse meshes, um, puff, high density, um, some athletics, something that is very bold, coarse, where you want to put on a heavy deposit with minimal detail. Think of this as using a butter knife to spread peanut butter or butter on a slice of toast. When you're standing the blade upright, it shaves the Peanut butter gives you a very thin deposit. As you lay it down, it spreads and puts a thick, heavy deposit. And that's exactly what this is going to do when we are printing with it. It is going to smooth and lay down a heavy deposit of ink, but it's not good for detail on there. The general purpose is going to be a 70 durometer. Now, the 70 durometer is the same amount of pressure. When we, when we zoom in, you'll notice that it flexes, but it's still staying on the edge of the blade. But it's bowing just a little. Now, with a 70 durometer, we can print puff. We can print high resolution simulated process as well as a wide variety of things. Just by adjusting the angle because the blade is going to flex back. It's going to want to stay near that edge. So this is going to be the all-purpose. Um, uh, Squeegee is the most popular variety. But if I had to print a large run of puff, back when like the sororities were big, printing across their shoulder blades, um, on that it would be easier with a 60 durometer because the blade's going to flex and it's going to print a heavy deposit every time. Eighty durometer, same amount of pressure. The blade does not want to flex. Hardly at all. Now this is going to literally shave the ink and put a very thin deposit. It's going to make holding high resolution images much easier. If I was doing 75 LPI, but it's going to also put down a thinner deposit of ink, which is going to make opacity. Achieving opacity on darker garments a problem. On there. That is the hard. 80 rounder. Now the color is irrelevant. Each manufacturer's squeegee has got their own colors. The, um, the numbers are what are most important. 60 soft, 70 medium, 80 hard. Now we're at 70, 90, 70. This blade has got a thin deposit, it's a, um, a layered composite squeegee. It's got a 90 durometer in the center and two 70s on the outside. So it has a little flex to the outside edge, but the center is pushing back. This is very popular for printing high opaque low bleed white because the squeegee is going to bow just a little but the 90 is going to push back. This is going to allow you to shear, which is cutting through a, a thick deposit of ink, much easier on uh, here. 70, 90, 70. You also see this in a lot of automatic presses running in head number one, running with the white inks. Thanks for watching.